welcome to edupedia world in this module we will study about spearman's rank correlation spearman's rank correlation this method was developed by british psychologist charles edward spearman in 1904 this method is used when the variables cannot be measured meaningfully for example variables like efficiency beauty intelligence honesty etc cannot be measured in quantitative terms as these are qualitative in nature in this method various items are assigned ranks according to their characteristics and a correlation is computed between these ranks consider the situation when we are required to calculate the correlation between height and weight of students in a remote village neither measuring rods nor weighing scales are available the student can be easily ranked in terms of height and weight without using measuring rods and weighing scales the coefficient of correlation based on ranking the variables is called spearman's rank correlation or rank correlation in this method ranks are assigned to values of the variables for the purpose of analysis this method provides a measure of linear association between ranks assigned to individuals or objects according to the quality of their attributes the coefficient of correlation is denoted by r k where r k is equals to coefficient of rank correlation the value of the coefficient r k is interpreted in the same way as carl pearson's coefficient of correlation its value ranges between plus 1 and minus 1 rank correlation is equal to product moment correlation between the ranks computation of rank correlation there are three types of cases to calculate the rank correlation first when ranks are given second when ranks are not given and third when ranks are repeated we will study all the three methods one by one in the coming slides when ranks are given it is a situation when actual ranks are assigned and given the following steps are observed to calculate the correlation coefficient first we represent the ranks of first series as r1 and the ranks of second series as r2 then we find values of d that is difference between two sets of ranks d equals to r1 minus r2 next we find squares of these differences and obtain sigma d square then we use the following formula to calculate coefficient of rank correlation rk equals to 1 minus sig sigma d square divided by n cube minus n where rk equals to coefficient of rank correlation n equals to number of pairs d equals to difference between r1 and r2 sigma d square equals to sum total of squared rank differences between r1 and r2 An important feature of this method is that sum total of difference between R1 and R2 is always zero. That is, sigma d equals to zero. You can check your calculation once again if sigma d is not zero. Now let us understand the situation of when ranks are given with the following illustration. We have to calculate coefficient of rank correlation from the ranks assigned by two judges to five students in essay writing competition. so ranks are given by first judge and second judge for the solution we will make a table of four column in the first column we will write ranks by judge 1 or r1 that is 1 2 3 4 and 5 in the second column we will write down ranks by judge 2 that is r2 4 2 1 3 and 5 in the third column we will write d which is equals to r1 minus r2 so 1 minus 4 will get minus 3 Two minus two zero. Three minus one two. Four minus three one. Five minus five zero. We will calculate it. We will get sigma d equals to zero. In the fourth column, we will write d square. So minus three square comes nine. Zero square zero. Two square four. One square one. Zero square zero. We will add up the values. We will get sigma d square equals to fourteen. Here n that is number of pair is five. so now we'll put up the formula that is rank correlation is rk equals to 1 minus 
सिक्स जिग्मा डी स्क्वायर डिवाइडेड बाय एन क्यू माइनस एन वी विल पुट अप द वैल्यूज वी विल कैलकुलेट इट वी विल गेट जीरो पॉइंट थ्री सो दिस इज अ मॉडरेट डिग्री ऑफ पॉजिटिव को दिस इज हाउ वी विल कैलकुलेट कोफिशियंट ऑफ रैंक को रिलेशन वेन रैंक्स आर गिवेन नाउ वी कम टू द सेकेंड सिचुएशन वेन रैंक्स आर नॉट गिवेन इन दिस केस एक्चुअल रैंक्स आर नॉट गिवेन बट दे कैन बी डिराइव फ्रॉम एक्चुअल वैल्यूज हेयर ओनली डेटा आर गिवेन रैंक्स आर अकॉर्डेड टू द डेटा वाइल अकॉर्डेड द रैंक्स वी नीड टू फॉलो यूनिफॉर्म प्रोसीजर फॉर बोथ द सीरीज दैट इज If you start giving rank from the highest value in series one, we'll start giving ranks for the highest value in series two also, and vice versa. We use the following formula to find coefficient of rank correlation, as the same formula which we use in method one, which is R k equals to one minus six sigma d square divided by n cube minus n. Now we will understand the situation when ranks are not given with the following illustration. In this particular illustration, five participants were accorded following marks by two judges X and Y. We have to calculate coefficient of rank correlation. Data is provided to us. Now we will start with the solution. We have to make a table of six column. In the first column, we will write the marks given by first judge, that is X, ninety, twenty, thirty-six, seventy-eight, and forty-five. In the second column, we will write R one. That we will assign the ranks to the values. We will start with the highest value, that is ninety. We will give in one. Next is seventy-eight, so two. After that, forty-five. So we have given three. Then thirty-six. We have given four. And twenty is the last. We have given five. Now, in the third column, we will write marks given by Y judge, that is twenty, seventy, fifty-five, forty-six, and fifty-two. Now in the fourth column we will write R two. We will assign the rank. We will start with the highest, that is seventy. We have given one. Fifty five we have given two. Fifty two we have given three. Forty six we have given four. And twenty we have given five. Now in the next column we will write D, which is equals to R one minus R two. So one minus five comes minus four. Five minus one comes four. Four minus two two. Two minus four minus two. Three minus three comes zero. We will calculate it. We will get sigma d equals to zero. In the last column, we will write d square. Minus four square comes sixteen. Four square sixteen. Two square four. Minus two square four. Zero square zero. We will add up the values. We will get sigma d square equals to forty. Here, number of pairs are five. Now, we'll put up the formula that is r k equals to one minus six sigma d square divided by n cube minus n. We'll put up the values and calculate it. We will get minus one. So there is a perfect negative correlation between x and y series. This is how we will calculate coefficient of rank correlation when ranks are not given. Now we come to the third situation when ranks are repeated. This method is used when two or more than two items in the series have equal ranks. In order to work out the rank correlation, the ranks of the values are worked out. Common ranks are given to the repeated items. The common rank is the mean of the ranks which those items would have assumed if they were slightly different from each other. The next item will be assigned the rank next to the rank already assumed. The following formula is used when ranks are repeated. As you can see in the formula. D is equals to difference between R one and R two. M equals to number of repetition of ranks. M two is equal to second set of repeated ranks. N is equal to number of pairs. M one is equal to first set of repeated ranks. There may be more sets of repeated ranks in the series. Now let us understand when ranks are repeated. In the following illustration. We have to calculate rank coefficient of correlation from the following data. Data is given to us in the form of x and y. For the solution, we'll make a table of six columns. In the first column, we'll write x, that is twenty-five, forty-five, thirty-five, forty, fifteen, nineteen, thirty-five, and forty-two. In the second column, we'll write r one. We will assign the rank according to the highest value. 
So we have given 45 first rank, 42 second rank, 43rd rank. As you can see that 35 is 2 times. So we have given rank 4.5 and 4.5 to each of them. Next, 6th rank is given to 25, 7th rank is given to 19 and 8th rank is given to 15. In the third column, we will write the y variables that is 55, 60, 30, 35, 40, 42, 36 and 48. And after that, in the next column, we will write R2, we will assign the ranks to it. We have given first rank to 60, second to 55, third to 48, fourth rank to 42, fifth rank to 40, sixth rank to 36, seventh rank to 35 and eighth rank to 30. Now in the next column we will write D which is equals to R1 minus R2. So 6 minus 2 comes 4, 1 minus 1 comes 0, 4.5 minus 8 comes minus 3.5, 3 minus 7 comes minus 4, 8 minus 5 comes 3, 7 minus 4 comes 3, 4.5 minus 6 comes minus 1.5 and 2 minus minus 1 comes minus 1. We'll add up the values, we'll get sigma D equals to 0. In the last column, we will write d square. 4 square comes 16, 0 square comes 0, minus 3.5 square comes 12.25, minus 4 square comes 16, 3 square comes 9, 3 square comes 9, minus 1.5 comes 2.25, and minus 1 square comes 1. We will add up the values, we will get sigma d square equals to 65.5. So now, we will put up the formula that, that is rk equals to 1 minus 6 bracket open sigma d square plus 1 by 12 mq1 minus m1 divided by nq minus n. We will put up the values and calculate it we will get 0 0.214 as coefficient of correlation. So there is a low degree of positive correlation between series x and series y. This is how we will calculate rank coefficient of correlation when ranks are repeated in the question. Now we come to merits and demerits of rank correlation. First we will discuss merits. First point this method is used to calculate and simple to understand as compared to Carl Pearson's method. It takes less time in computation. Second merit rank method is very useful when the data is qualitative in nature like honesty, beauty, intelligence, voice quality, etc. In such cases, ranks are assigned to different items under consideration. Next point, this is the only method that can be used where we are given the ranks but not the actual data. And the last point is when actual values are given instead of ranks, then this method can be used to get rough idea about the degree of correlation. Now we will discuss some demerits of this method. First. Rank method cannot be used for finding out correlation in a bivariate grouped frequency distribution. Next, if the number of values is quite large, it becomes a difficult task to ascertain the ranks and the differences. That is why it is advisable to use this method only when the number of observations is less than 30. And the last point is that this method lacks precision as compared to Carl Pearson's method is uses rank instead of the original values. These are some of the merits and demerits of rank correlation. Carl Pearson's method versus Spearman's rank method. The coefficient of correlation by both the methods ranges between minus 1 and plus 1. Still there exist the following differences. Carl Pearson's methods of correlation measures correlation for quantitative data whereas Spearman's rank method of rank correlation measures coefficient of correlation for qualitative data. Carl Pearson's method calculates deviation from actual or assumed mean, whereas Spearman's method calculates the rank differences. Rank correlation gives less importance to the extreme values because it gives them rank. However, Carl Pearson's method of correlation gives more importance to extreme values as it is based on actual values.
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग एडुपीडिया वर्ल्ड वीडियोज़